Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be discussing some of the important testing techniques which is newly used in any manual testing. You might be knowing black box testing, white box testing, other uh, different uh, various testing techniques. Uh, whenever we are trying to do a manual testing, I'll be discussing some of the new testing techniques so that can be easily adapt for the latest uh, way in any manual testing projects. So let's uh, go and understand which are those uh, new testing techniques. The first uh, uh, technique would be session based testing. The session based testing is a, a testing technique where you will be breaking the overall manual testing processes into a time boxed uh, sessions and with each, each session you will have a specific goal or objective in order to complete the manual testing. That is a key benefit in the session based testing technique where you will be breaking down overall manual testing process into a time box session, maybe 2 hour session or 3 hour session or 4 hour session where you will be achieving certain things as part of uh, that time box session. And uh, with this time box approach, you can easily manage your time effectively. You can prioritize the testing task and you can complete the planned testing activity within those time box sessions. That is the key as part of the session based testing. If an example of session based testing is user acceptance testing. Uh, session. Uh, you can also have a regression uh, testing session also and also similarly you can have integrated testing session also can be performed as part of this session based uh, testing technique. And the second uh, type of uh, new technique is exploratory testing. Exploratory testing is a testing where we will be emphasizing more on uh, creativity, learning, adaptability in the testing process. That is a key uh, because here you may not have any documentation uh, while doing any testing or you do not have user stories as well in order to perform exploratory testing where you will be using your brain, you will be using your creativity, you will be learning the things on the go and you will be very adaptable for the changes in the testing as well compared to any traditional uh, uh, testing. And the next type of testing technique is risk based testing technique. In the risk based testing techniques, you will be identifying the potential risk associated with the software which you are trying to test and you will be prioritizing your testing effort for those uh, risks. And also you will be minimizing uh, those risks by properly planning and uh, you should put a mitigation plan and you will be concentrating on uh, executing those testing effort is also another key technique uh, as part of uh, manual testing. Take an example for risk based testing, you will be concentrating on the critical functionality and also will be concentrating on the complexity of the functionality and also if you are seeing any previous defects which are critically logged or based on the security risk. So, we will be assessing the risk based testing, you will be assessing the risk for those uh, area and you will be coming up with a mitigation plan as part of this uh, risk based testing. And the next type of testing technique or testing which we are doing recently in the manual testing is crowd based testing. Crowd testing we can also say in the crowd testing basically you will be utilizing or you are leveraging a group of people to test the software. Here tester can crowdsource their testing to a group of people who have different background devices and location. Let's say if I have a software which is, which is, getting, which is getting developed in India, I can use many people across the world. I can use people in sitting in America, Europe, I can use it in African countries where you can utilize all these different set of people and their devices and their location to test any of your application. It could be your web applications or mobile application or game application and so on. And this approach, the crowd testing approach really help you to identifying the defects with a different uh, way of uh, identifying the different which normally won't be observed in uh, traditional 
testing. You can use this crowd testing for your mobile apps, web apps testing, game testing or you can say any kind of testing and the next type of testing technique is fair testing where in this technique uh, where two testers work together as a pair to test any application software by using uh, test cases one will be executing the test cases or one will be reviewing the test cases and provide the feedback for the other person so that uh, these two people or two testers will work together to complete the overall uh, testing to maintain the high quality standard as part of this uh, pair testing technique and the next type of testing is mind mapping the, the mind mapping is a visual technique that helps the tester to organize the overall testing processes the tester can use the mind map to create hierarchical structure of the test cases identify the areas that need to be more testing and track the progress using this uh, mind mapping these are the some of the latest new technique normally people they adopt uh, in any manual testing to come up with the uh, more uh, defects or more uh, you can uncover more issues as quickly as possible if you adopt these uh, six different uh, testing technique i hope you guys got a clear idea now if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care